Hi, my name is Rich Lilly with Project Leadership Associates. Today we're going to be focusing on network device enrollment services for Intune. What is NDES? Uh, NDES is Network Device Enrollment Services, which is a role of the Active Directory Certificate Services Windows Server role. Uh, it implements the Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol, also called SCEP, S-C-E-P, uh, which defines the communications between network devices and a registration authority. Uh, SCEP was primarily designed originally to be deployed in a closed network uh, where all endpoints are trusted. However, with some of the modern bring your own devices and mobile devices that, that people have on them, we want to be able to issue these certificates outside the organization and trust these devices, whether they're corporate owned or bring your own devices. We can use this deployment to deploy certificate profiles. Um, with Intune specifically, we can leverage these in a couple different manners. One, we can automatically configure devices so the company resources can be accessed without having to install certificates manually. What can we use certificate profiles to do within Intune? Uh, we can leverage this to automatically configure devices so that company resources can be accessed without having to install certificates manually on every single device. Uh, this can be quite cumbersome when you have to have all users or your service desk manage every single device. This can also help you to keep company resources secure by uh, storing your enterprise public key infrastructure uh, trusted root certificate. This can also enable you for server-based authentication for both Wi-Fi and VPN profiles on your mobile devices, which is very important as we have a lot of users bring in their own devices or corporate devices into our corporate network. We can also leverage this across various platforms such as Android, iOS, Windows 8.1, uh, or Windows Phone 8.1. In this case, we're going to deploy our trusted root certificate to these devices. We also have the ability through Intune to monitor and report about the installed certificates to make sure these devices are within compliance. Um, we can use certificate profiles, for instance, in scenarios like uh, employees must access our corporate Wi-Fi uh, via different locations, and we want to push down a common Wi-Fi profile of those devices. In addition, if we want to leverage these certificates to approve devices, whether it's through 802.1x or through a VPN profile for remote access. There's different types of certificate profiles, two that we'll primarily focus on today. One is our trusted root certificate profile. Uh, this is used to deploy the trusted root certificate uh, or an intermediate CA root to a machine. In this case, we want to make sure we trust the server for any certificates or services that we're presenting to these mobile devices. There's also the simple certificate enrollment protocol or SCEP settings profile. In this case, we can leverage this to uh, trust certificate profiles uh, against this trusted CA for different things like our Wi-Fi and VPN profiles. What we show on this screen is an example of the workflow of a network device enrollment services request. In this case, you can see that the, a key is created for the device. Uh, the administrator then requests a password and checks the permissions. Again, this is all automated on the back end of the service. Uh, we're then going to uh, challenge that request as well as uh, send that request over to a uh, issuing authority. In this case, this would be our certificate authority. Uh, we're going to issue that certificate back to the, de uh, to the network device enrollment services so it's aware of what that device is and it's a known trusted device. And we're going to issue that back to the device. Now this device is a known entity and we can manage it with that certificate for the longevity of that certificate. There's a couple different architecture options for deploying network device enrollment services. Uh, late last year, uh, there was only really one option, and that was through what Microsoft called as, as Microsoft's Web Application Proxy. Uh, this could also be done with other third-party reverse proxy solutions as well. Uh, in this case, as you can see with the diagram, we have to deploy a certificate authority, or CRP. In addition, we also have to have Azure Active Directory Sync set up, which is syncing this infrastructure to our Microsoft Intune environment. We also have an NDES server, as we mentioned, Network Device Enrollment Services server that sits within that network. And a more typical deployment is also deploying a web application proxy or other reverse proxy solution. In this case, we have to deploy it in the DMZ where we potentially have one leg into the DMZ and then one leg out of the DMZ or edge firewalls on either side to secure the connectivity. This allows us to have a proxy in front of the Network Device Enrollment Services server to really act as a security boundary to our external network devices, as you can see here. Microsoft released earlier this year uh, Azure Active Directory Application Proxy. What this allows us to do is deploy services like network device enrollment services uh, or other internal web services to the web without actually having to put a physical infrastructure within the DMZ. As you can see in this case, we have a service that actually sits on the Azure AD App Proxy that brokers the connectivity without actually having to expose anything to the DMZ. In this case, this is all done through Azure's presentation of its services. So what is Azure AD Proxy? So as I mentioned, uh, this is allowing us to present web-based services 
uh, from our internal network out to the outside uh, without actually having to have anything in the uh, DMZ within our environment. Uh, this allows us to publish these endpoints securely to these, uh, these environments as well as things like NDES, which in, uh, prior to this deployment we would have to deploy a web application proxy service. Again, Microsoft added a specific function for this because NDES requires very long, long strings in order for that process or enrollment process to happen. Uh, this was added in early 2015. In this case, this actually shows a very simple example of what an Azure AD application proxy looks like and how it works. In this case, in our lab, we have just one connector server that traverses the DMZ, and we have access to our Azure Active Directory environment and are presenting that to our mobile application platform. In many cases, when you're deploying a web application proxy, uh, you want to have at least, uh, at least two servers for high availability to present the service in case one service is down due to planned or unplanned maintenance. Let's take a look at the configuration. Let's take a look at the NDES connector. This connector is actually deploying the policy module in order to support the, the device enrollment certificates for the mobile devices. In this case, we've already gone ahead and downloaded that connector to our NDES server, and that's managing that connectivity to that service. And as you can see, the NDES connector is in service and up to date. Let's actually go take a look at the policies that are deploying the certificates to the devices. In this case, we can go ahead and look at our configuration policy. And we can actually see that there's a trusted certificate profile here for our iOS devices. We can go ahead and just take a quick look at it. And we can see that we've uploaded our trusted root CER file for our offline or our online authority. Now, once we have that, we can also see that we can deploy a, a SCEP or SCEP profile. This is actually for the enrollment of that device into the NDES service. As you can see here, we're defining this, the SCEP server URL, which is the NDES server, as well as the certificate properties, including the subject alternative name, key usage, and other key information, as well as the root certificate that we want to leverage here as well. If we actually go take a look at our iPad where we've already deployed that certificate, we can take a look at the settings panel. We can go down and look at the device management. We can see here that we've already pulled down a management profile as part of our Intune policy. So let's actually take a look at what certificates have been pushed down. Now you can see some accounts, some apps, and restrictions are all part of our standard management policy. Let's go ahead and look at more details. And we can see all the certificates that have been pushed down to the device. So in this case, if we actually go down and look at certificates, you can see labad01-ca. That's actually our issuing trusted root authority certificate. And we can see the certificates have actually successfully been pushed to this device. We can now enroll this into our Wi-Fi profiles, VPN profiles, or leverage this to connect to other trusted corporate sources of information. Thank you for attending today's session on Network Device Enrollment Services for Intune. My name is Rich Lilly with Project Leadership Associates. You can reach me at rlilly at projectleadership.net or on Twitter at at Rich Lilly. Thank you.